Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. We live in strange times, don't we? Well, we'll just have to press on and get through them somehow. But I thought I'd bring this to your attention. Um, the Sierra Club Foundation of Canada has posted a blog post saying that we need to stand up to these bullies. And they're referring to the truck convoy in Ottawa. Now, that's quite the hypocrisy because back in 2014, we ran our little billboard that said, um, the sun is the main driver of climate change, not you, not CO2. And the Sierra Club went berserk. They launched a, an online um, call to all their members and supporters to actively harass and bully our media provider. They published the names of the, and the emails of the senior executives and the phone number so that uh, that company was inundated with messages, harassing messages from people who didn't like our billboard. Now, if you don't like our billboard, then you should comment to us. Um, we made a perfectly legal transaction and what did the Sierra Club do? It bullied a legally operating company. So it's kind of hypocrisy that these guys are saying they need to stand up to bullies on Parliament Hill when most of their life they've done nothing but bully us and they've also bullied uh, various um, energy and resource companies and um, forestry companies that tried to do business in Canada within the laws of Canada and yet all these ENGOs doesn't matter if it's a legal operation they'll try and find some loophole and go after the company and just really harass them out of Canada. So it's interesting that now people are very concerned about the convoy costing Canadian economy money. But if you look at the tar sands campaign, um, you'll find that billions of dollars, over a hundred billion dollars in two years of investment was lost in Canada. And thousands of jobs, hundreds of thousands of jobs, and some people have expressed concern that um, the convoy was funded by foreign dollars. Well, if you look at a summary of a report that we have on our website, Robert Lyman summarized the Deloitte report related to the Allen inquiry into the tar sands campaign. And this is very pertinent. 31 environmental groups accumulated over $2.5 billion in assets, received $897.5 million in foreign funding, and received $2.1 billion from governments. These are all environmental groups in Canada, foreign funded. And if you want to get more details on this whole thing, you can read our four green reports, as we nicknamed them. Money Matters, Dark Green Money, Big Green Money, The Green Titanic, and we have another report called Manufacturing a Climate Crisis. And you will see how our economy has truly been devastated by these groups, and many of them, like the uh, Sierra Club, have done nothing but bully Canadians and investors out of their way. So. You know, who knows, maybe now we're heading into what Deutsche Bank is calling for. That's an eco-dictatorship to build back better. I don't think that that's going to be good for Canada. Do you? So have a look at our reports, see what you think, and um, let's see if we can return to an era of open civil debate instead of constant harassment and bullying, and instead of this foreign-funded bullying by groups like the Sierra Club. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.